thinking back on last night's game, uh, the morning after, did it surprise you at all how kind of maybe cautious they were attacking wise? Would you have expected them to come out a little more aggressive? Uh, can't really say because I wasn't in Carl's dressing room before the game and their preparations for the week. Um, you know, I don't say it would surprise me. I mean, that's 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 how they play. They drop off and they counter. I think, uh, you know, we've played them enough now during the course of the year to, you know, maybe get a hold of some of those things. And so it might look like a conservative approach, but that's their approach. So, you know, I, I couldn't tell you, really. And with the knowledge that they're probably going to come out firing, needing to score goals in this next game, how do you go about kind of defending that and withstanding that early pressure that they're probably going to throw at you? Well, I'd rather talk about our early pressure that we're going to put out on them. I mean, it's a, it's a, the reality is it's a do or die game. So one team has to score. Uh, we're going to try and do the best that it's our team that scores first. Uh, you know, they're going to come out with energy fired up. Yeah, because it's a playoff game. I think you guys saw the intensity of that game. Um, but, you know, we're going to come out and try and push tempo as well. So it may be, Maybe it'll be an exciting game. Is there any format change you think MLS could make to encourage teams to play a little bit more attack-minded? Yeah, I, I don't buy into all of that. I mean, I know what I said in my locker room. I think I said it after the game, and we were looking to score, score a goal. It was our intent to go up there, not to just drop off and not score. So we understood the importance of an away goal we understand the importance of winning games. So we go up there to win. I think you heard Porter say it in his, in his press notes. They, they're going to Houston to win. And I think that's the mentality that most coaches have. I, I, I think the press sometimes looks for, okay, maybe it was the most attractive game. Like, I'll give you guys that. But that doesn't mean that Carl didn't set up his team to try and score. And I certainly didn't set up my team not to score just the way that game manifested itself. This being your second MLS postseason, you've obviously had postseasons before, but in terms of your development as a coach, how have you sort of tactically, have you, do you felt like you've grown at all over experiencing a couple series like this now? In terms um, of how you prepare your team and how you approach tactics and everything else? Certainly there's always learning to be had. You know, if I stopped learning, then that would shame on me. Um, I think I learned from every little game. We watch a tape, we review what we did the week of that game to see if there's anything that correlated, okay, maybe we didn't play well in this art part of the field, and did we do something that week of training that could have been better? We reflect all the time. Um, what I've learned is just making sure that you have to get your team right. You know, your team is the most important team. So yeah, you can prepare and you can you know devise a game plan for the opposition. Yes, but you have to balance that with your your own team, and getting our group ready. Getting I'll use Jordy Dilemma as an example. You know, I knew he was going to play, and getting him ready to give significant minutes and, and good minutes, in my opinion, that was part of our preparation. I think in that in that sense, we we did okay. How do you get a veteran team like this ready? I mean, it's, besides the X's and O's, because I mean they've been there before. And this is kind of what you played for the last. It's just physical, mental. It's just those little details. I mean, we'll work on set pieces, all that sort of stuff, uh, attacking movements because we need to score. We'll do all that. But they're ready for the games to come. They don't. They don't like to train even on a beautiful day like today. Point is ready, obviously, yeah. and that that should add a boost to the offensive yeah. punch there. Yeah. Happy to have them. <laughs> Could use them. But, you know, he, he, he's ready to go. He's fired up. Looked like their benches were chirping a little bit at each other at the end there. Maybe Gonzo and uh, Carl getting in each other's ear a little I bit. I thought they you? were just talking to the fourth official, but I'll, I'll, I'll watch the panoramic view, see if I can catch that. We, we as a club, I as a, as a head coach, uh, uh, don't want to have any of that sort of stuff happening. I think we have to act in a, you know, standard that we set for ourselves um, you know I would never talk to Carl's players um, you know I think that's off limits um, I don't need any chirping between the two benches I think that's just a distraction we need to focus on what we do 
and how we coach rather than what the opposing bench or the opposing team is doing. As far as that on on the field, did you catch the play where it looked like Ali Gazala? Yeah, you have like Nico under one arm and Ozzy. That is under being reviewed by the disciplinary committee. I can tell you guys that it's under review, and I am anxiously awaiting the report because I thought that was wrong. How's Chad feeling today? Any update on? They're his all status? sore. <laughs> all those guys are sore. They put it in, so they're all sore. Um, and we'll get them out here tomorrow. You know, loosen their legs up a little bit, and then Wednesday we'll have a, you know, probably a normal training day. Tomorrow will still be light. How's Jordan feeling? Do you think that he's a possibility for Thursday or maybe uh, looking at the other side? Uh, probably not Jordy for Thursday, but you never know. I wouldn't rule out, I wouldn't rule him out, he's, but he's got to go through the final phases of testing because, you know, we don't want that hamstring to pop again. Yeah. So if he, if he makes it through the final stages of testing, then sure. Is there a day set for him to get that test, like tomorrow or Wednesday? They test or? every day. Every Basically, day. They, they measure increments in his max speed and stuff like that. So.